Hello everyone. Indeed it has been a very long time since I uploaded any content here on YouTube. But I am back and I'm very pleased to be back with a very beautiful model and a very special guest. And her name is Laomi. Now I must thank Laomi's sister, Fumi Ioda, for making sure that this happened. The look that I created today is quite a glossy, glamorous look, quite 80s. And before I begin, I hope you enjoy the look. I first of all began by applying a foundation mix of MAC Face and Body with NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation on a Space NK foundation brush to lightly moisturise the skin. Then taking an Urban Decay blurring brush and buffing in the foundation to ensure a seamless finish. Then priming the eye with a light dusting of loose powder. Then I applied a Maybelline colour tattoo in the shade 25 Everlasting Navy on a Charles Fox concealer brush to the eye. And to create greater colour intensity, layering the product. Applying product to the lower lash line with a Charles Fox pencil brush and blend edges with a MAC 217. Then softening the edges with a Silver 228 crease brush. And with the same brush, apply MAC eyeshadow in the shade Folly to the socket, blending upwards and outwards. This shade will act as our transition colour and add depth to the eye. Pulling the colour outwards to elongate the eye and create a smoother gradient, completing the same step on the other eye. Then on a Louise Young LY38A brush, apply Urban Decay's eyeshadow in the shade Creep from the Naked Palette to the outer corner of the eye and sculpting it slightly into the socket blending through with a MAC 217 to ensure seamlessness and with the same 217 pulling the colour outwards and upwards and applying the same eyeshadow on a pencil brush to the lower lash line. Then on a Space NK liner brush apply Inglot's gel liner in the shade 77 to the lower lash line and work the same product into the upper lash line and winging the product out to create a black flick elongating the eyes. Then on a Zova 227 brush I patted on an iridescent eyeshadow. This one is by Topshop in the shade Wax and Wane building up colour intensity. Then on an Inglot pencil brush, apply to the inner corners and to the lower lash line. Completing the same steps upon the other eye. Then I applied a set of false lashes. These ones are by Prima Lash, number 106. Blackening the lashes with Max Zoom Lash Mascara. Then on a Charles Fox concealer brush. I am applying Super Covers foundation in the shade 11, applying it to the under eyes and the cheekbones, as well as the chin up above the lip and the forehead. Then taking a Real Techniques contour brush and blending the product, and for more precise blending taking a Zova 227V into the smaller areas, and going back in with our Urban Decay blurring brush to ensure seamlessness. Then I am applying Max Pro Conceal in the shade NC55 as a contour under the cheekbones to the temples, slightly down the sides of the nose, then using our Urban Decay Blurring Brush to blend. And with the same Real Techniques contour brush, I am applying Illamasqua's Cream Blusher in the shade Libido. Then I am setting only the highlights and centre of the face with loose powder. This one is Benai's Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. And dusting off the product. Then I am applying on a Wayne Goss number no. 2 brush, Laura Mercier's Radiance Baked Body Bronzer, to the cheekbones and the chin, and slightly on the lip. And I filled in the brows with a little bit of Max Brune eyeshadow just to balance out the shape and thicken them slightly. Applying a slight amount of the product under the brow as well as down the centre of the nose, highlighting with additional product to the cheekbones. Taking MAC's Pro Conceal in the shade NC55 on an Artmaster acrylic brush number 6 and lining the lips as well as beginning to fill the lips in slightly and really pushing the product into the lips. 
applying a different shade of Pro Conceal in NC45, adding light to the center of the lid, and taking pure orange from the same Pro Conceal palette on a Zova 110 brush, and counteracting any discoloration just around the jaw, and going back in with our Zova 102 brush to ensure seamlessness, and any touch-ups where needed. Going back in with our highlighter and applying a small amount of it to the lips. And with the same lip brush, applying Max Lip Glass to create a highly glossy finish. And then on the body I applied some of Nuke's Dry Oil. This is fantastic for adding a slight amount of sheen, but I went a little bit further by applying Inglot's Sparkling Dust in the shade 1 on a Zova 101 brush. Applying the product across the collarbones and to the neck, then blending the product in with my hand. This fuses the oil and the pigment we used together. The blend of these two products create a very soft sheen. Adding oils or shimmers to the skin gives a glow. I decided not to go for a very strong body glow, but if you wanted it a lot stronger you would simply add more product. It is important to note that these sorts of products tend to show up better under flash photography, but look fantastic in person also. That more or less completes the look. I was absolutely enchanted by Laomi's incredible looks. The overall look that I created is actually very simple, but creates a highly dramatic effect and flatters Laomi's incredible bone structure and features. I love to create these very feminine, elegant, yet powerful looks. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and of course, take care of yourself. Bye!